All right, convicted murderer Alec Murdoch is back in court this morning. This is the first time we've seen him since March when he was hauled away to a state prison for brutally killing his wife and son. This is a separate case on charges related to fraud. Elizabeth Prawn is with us now uh, with the very latest. This comes as Murdoch's attorneys are now demanding a new trial for him. What should people be watching for as this trial date now set for November? I know, Marnie, this is so confusing when you look at all these charges, because initially, as you mentioned, this is the first time that we have seen Alec Murdoch since he was sentenced to those two consecutive life sentences for the murder of his wife and his son. We're talking about financial fraud charges, and this man is facing more than 100, both state and federal charges, which is why I want to make the distinction for some of our viewers when they get lost in really this web of charges this man is facing. And a lot of it is stemming from his testimony when he took the stand during his own murder trial. So today, this hearing specifically talking about a trial date set for state-related charges, as you mentioned, November 27th. So the first round of charges alleged that he stole insurance payments meant for the family of his housekeeper, Gloria Satterfield. We're all familiar with the story. She died after falling on Murdoch's property down a set of stairs. This was back in 2018. Um, as you know, he had conversations with, and you can see her on her screen there, he had conversations with uh, her family, her sons, to settle with the insurance company well over $4 million. The family never saw a penny of that money. The second round of charges alleged that he stole from a family friend. His name is Jordan Jinx. So what happened today? Well, the defense argued uh, that everything needs to be settled, uh, settled in a murder trial. And you may be thinking, well, wait a second. The murder, tr murder trial is already settled. Last week, there was the bombshell from the defense attorneys when they said, well, you know what? We think that the county clerk, her name is Rebecca Hill, pressured jurors prior to him taking the stand, coaxing them with instructions and insinuations. So I want to play a soundbite for you. This is really just about an hour ago. It was the back and forth between the judge who already oversaw the murder trial and the defense attorney. Here is what they went back and forth about. And Your Honor, uh, to try to try this case in less than a year after the verdict came in, in the other case, don't we need to let it calm down a little bit? Where are you going to get a jury? Mars? I mean, there's nowhere in this case. Allendale, Orangeburg, Beaufort, Colleton, Hampton. I appreciate your sense of humor. There's not a sense of humor. We have many. Uh, and the attorneys for Alec Murdoch are speaking right now outside the court. Let's listen into this. Mr. Griffin, and by the way, do we like Jim's sunglasses? We do like them. We? We like Okay, go ahead. Yes, yeah, so we'll be filing a formal plea agreement probably tomorrow where he is agreed to plead guilty to all the pending charges. We're showing to a cooperation agreement that, that you'll read about. But until the court accepts the plea, it's not done. So, but but that, that's the plan for next session. Okay. Thank you. Did, did you get things ironed out with WIS? What now? Did you get things ironed out with WIS? I, I, I did not. The they road. came very close to running us off the road and killing us on the way down here. Where are they? Are they here? I haven't seen them. I think they're in the room. Well, somebody at WIS should. All right, so that, again, is the legal team, the defense team for Alec Murdoch. You heard uh, Dick Harputley in there and Jim Griffin saying that they want a plea agreement in the financial crimes cases. Uh, there are about 100 of them against Alec Murdoch. They said he will plead guilty to all of the financial charges, but will wait for the process uh, through the court system to work itself out. Again, a trial date set for the insurance fraud case against Gloria Satterfield, the former housekeeper who was killed on their property years ago. I want to bring back Elizabeth Prawn briefly to talk more about, uh, one, what we just heard and the next steps in this case, Elizabeth. No surprise that he is going to plead guilty to these. He already admitted in court that he stole all this money from people. Well, and I think that's also what we're seeing because uh, for folks that may be familiar with this case, there are two other defendants involved. One of them, Corey Fleming, who is also facing both federal and state fraud charges. He has also um, pled guilty to those charges. He's getting a sentencing today on the state charges. He has already pled guilty to the federal charges. He's facing a 46-month 
um, uh, prison sentence for that. The second gentleman, and, and, and he is also um, in court today, the second gentleman who is also in court today goes by the name of Russell Lafayette. You're probably familiar with him, former CEO of Palmetto State Bank. Um, he faces similar charges, and he is facing a status hearing today. So that's what we're also waiting for when we look at this court case. This is obviously Alec Murdoch entering the court uh, today, and he... Um, clearly went first in this string of men who are facing all of these charges. But one of the things I want to remind folks, Marnie, uh, and you mentioned earlier, um, is he is facing federal charges. And when you look at really the mass amount that he allegedly acquired over the course of his lifetime, it's upwards of $8.8 .8 million. So when, when he says that he is pleading guilty to these charges, it's really just because it's, it's almost a web of charges and victims, and we start to hear um, some of these testimonies. So um, what is it all depending on going forward? Well, we also have to wait for Friday, because that's when we're going to know whether or not the state attorney general is going to be granting this new trial. As you and I talked about earlier, um, it all centers around accusations that the county clerk, Rebecca Hill, pressured jurors um, prior to him taking the stand in the murder trial. If those accusations are true, that would really um, bring us back to square zero. And then we would start again with this murder trial. Marnie? Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.